super, super, super hard. I mean, it's a new year. We got a lot of new things. We're launching our new space and having fun and enjoying it. So for the very first time, I'm seeing Dotun very far away from me. I miss you. Come back. Nah, I mean, it's good. <laughs> no, we can have good. a conversation like, like this. Yeah. And first time, you know, and, and shout out to the first guy who's going to break that, uh, who's going to cop the weeben. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, Popping our studio born. cherry. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the guys who have the best pen game when it comes to music in Nigeria, right? Uh, anytime you put him on any record, he drops a verse, is a hit, right? Killer. And um, I'm, I like to look at him in a different dimension, right? So uh, it's nice to have that kid come up and come here for the first time mm. uh, in a long time mm. and uh, the cut that ribbon. I'm talking about the one the and the only Zeno Liskis in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you doing, G? My brother, I'm good. My boss. You, bro, first of all, you look fly. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Really, really happy to have you here. Oh, I mean, we've been on this for a bit, so it's nice to finally have you come yeah, through. How are you nice feeling? Year. Happy New Year. Feel good. Same to you. Happy New Year. Love it. Love it. Are, are you naturally a very quiet guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm naturally quiet. I can say I'm naturally quiet. I want, I want people that I'm not always used to like. But I'm not that quiet with people that I know. I mean, we hear it from the music, so we know that <laughs> <laughs> we so, know that you can't be that quiet. No, but. No, no, no. but the thing is, sometimes you know, with everybody, we want to be comfortable with certain people. So if you are, uh, sometimes you can get loud when you're with your friends, mm. and I think that's very understandable. Um, Zeno, you've dropped two EPs now. That for me personally. I've heard them and I, I connected with it. Mm. Now, you know, sometimes if you're signed to a record label, there's sometimes limitations because things are all structured. They'll tell you you have to do things a certain mm. way. Do you sometimes, you know, because people words and conversations, do you ever think you might put out music in a different way if you were not signed to Manny Records? Mm. Okay, like in, in 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 the sense that it's going to influence my music. Oh. Uh, I, I, I can't say I know that yet, but I don't think there's going to be like much changes because I don't feel like my record label is influencing my Your music. music in any way? Yeah, I feel like whatever I'm doing is what I'm going to do. I don't think it's, it has anything to do with my label. I feel like I can agree with that because I used to really pay attention to your music on Twitter before you got signed. Yeah. Um, then it was you, Lil Frosh, and a couple yeah, other yeah, guys, yeah, and yeah, you guys would just put out a little video on Twitter and I'm like whoever this Zeno guy is I want to know him because it was different no it was really really different and that seemed you know that was there before any of this that you are now what has been your driving force like over time what is it that has always pushed you um what was always pushed me I'll say I'll say my background I'll, everybody wants to make it you mm. understand so <laughs> and then I, Facts. I, I, I feel like I have it too I have something that can that can make it with so I just feel like that has always been my draft for us to always just keep going and not stop. Love it. And, and if I want to compare the first time you have ever walked in here, um, yeah, and compare it to now, there's a lot. The difference is clear. Because, mm. you know, the thing I remember when he walked in here with Lil, Lil Froch and he was the gentleman, I present to you, Zeno Litsky and Lil Froch. Let's go. Listen. Yaba le flow ko street wa la pa o si number two. Te ba gbori kori wa mo mo ye kreti tama two. I'm a fun you le do fun you le no fun you le. Freestyling like Bro, kid. those freestyles went hard. You need I to stop putting out freestyles more I often. Remember, yeah, I, remember <laughs> I have a way of having to think about them in different ways. I, I really and it's it's great. Now the thing is we're in a very competitive space. Mm. And um I to be honest, sometimes I think the best is keep your peace, do your best, mm-hmm. and you cannot really uh, satisfy everybody. But how do you rank yourself 
sometimes because you're 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 part of the new bees. You could start something that's really different. Mm -hmm. How do you rank yourself among all the new artists? <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I feel like everybody's doing their own thing. You understand? And if like if we're looking at everybody, like everyone that you can say is new, like everybody's actually doing. doing and you're only pretty well, yeah. And it's not. So it's really, it's really nice that everybody's got their own thing going. You understand? I mean, I like having my own thing going. So I just don't like looking at anybody else. Thing. Yeah, I like my own thing. I like being satisfied with whatever I've got and just, and just make do with it. And I think that's the way it should be these days. Right? Love Sometimes, it. Uh, Come on, man. Go easy. Because <laughs> uh, you think about I'm, it, it's a tough space, man. Oh, do you get it? And obviously, there's that competition. Like, even when you're not trying to be competitive, mm -hmm. you're, like, forced to do it. Because Twitter will probably pitch you up against, like, somebody else. And they'll have wars about that. Or you jump on a feature or something. And they already say, oh, it seems yeah. like yours is better. I mean, how is it for you to deal with situations like that? Like, when people are unintentionally trying to force an agenda to agenda. Like, how do you just, you know, keep your head out of it? Yeah, I feel like it's quite easy for me just just because I don't pay attention. I love it. <laughs> he said, I'm just going to unlook it and keep it moving. But yeah. It's hard. You know, the thing is, it's really hard. For example, I mean, if I want to come back to the music, uh, my piano was 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 a, was a sound that you you clearly just made it so easy to, to bring the future and Afro beats with my piano yeah. with your sound. But you you moved away from that from this new EP. It's like you did something totally different. different. Is that what the fans wanted, or you just just you? I don't I don't know if that's what they wanted, but I, that's what I wanted. Hmm. It's wow. not I've. All the my piano I've dropped, I never had in mind that I wanted to drop on my piano. It's just I want to record. Producer give me beat, I record on it, and I feel like I like it, and I want to drop it. It, it naturally wasn't about the beat. So yes, yeah, so I saw. Did you at some point feel like you were being put in a box though? Because you were doing so well with Ama Piano Beats. I mean, from Kilo Feshi to everything, it probably did. It get to a point where it seemed like people were just throwing that kind of vibe at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was kind of saying, "I'm only doing Ama Piano. I can only do Ama Piano and stuff like that." But it's quite funny because I have I have my other songs with me. I yeah. listen. I can make a new song right now if you want. <laughs> Like, I have songs on my phone that are not on my piano. I have songs that I can drop. I, I, I can make a new song that is not on my piano today. So, it wasn't really a problem. And I feel like my first thing of the year is going to be on my piano if I feel like it's... <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, we don't. You know we, we can't even I, be upset at that because we love Zeno. that vibe. I don't care. You know, I don't <laughs> care. You don't kill any beats. You know, just bring it as uh, it is, you know. But uh, to be honest, like, for you, what do you think so far has been like the moment where you looked at yourself and you're like yo <laughs> Zeno you've arrived like I feel like 2020 was a great year for you like okay. the end of 2020 cause Kilo Feshe was getting me my feelings yo yeah. I mean Pyro yeah. was there but like Kilo Feshe was yeah, like Kilo it was Feshe. it really this I don't care thing we're seeing with you like I'll do what I want I think that song very much like captured the essence of that yeah and I feel like that was Zeno coming to us as Zeno like listen this is who I am do what you want to do what do you want to do that's Type of thing do you think you know that was exactly what you were trying to do communicate who you were to us with like, that song i feel like i do that in every song okay. uh, I, I, I try to because I, I feel like my song is my song has to do with realities like mm. is whatever i'm experiencing at the, the time moment. if i'm in love if i'm heartbroken if i'm all those kind yeah. of stuff so we greet and lost we greet and lost <laughs> the I, I, lost I, I, aspect I like of it all girlfriend, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said he's greet and lost you're looking for one you're girl. single i'm single yeah. boldly single <laughs> yeah. that's cool so but are, are you gonna are you ready for any relationship anytime soon because you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, but I don't mind, but I'm not looking for it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm being very honest. Okay. I just want to say this is top of my mind because uh, we're having a conversation off air uh -huh. where um, we can agree with um, a person on a team, on his team, and said this this has been the most collaborative generation. Yeah. For me, I would love to see Zeno Liske and Shay Vibe do a collaboration. Bruh, like I was just saying it. Yeah, I definitely feel like y'all will kill it together, to be honest. What do you think? <laughs> would you, would yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out more. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. You, you, you love his music? Yeah, 100. 100. 100. 
love it. <laughs> so just in case that happens, remember that we threw the touch. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like talking about collaborations, I feel like you and Ira, um, you know, have a couple tracks together, and I feel like it's the collaboration that I didn't know I needed. To be honest, um, of her deluxe, you know, lonely yo. <laughs> I cried over <laughs> such a lovely song. And yeah. I like the fact that with you, you can always tap into your emotions when you need to, like, when you need to be good times, you know, you're good times, you know, when you need to be emo, you know, your emo, emo, Zeno is a thing. Like, please pay me for this IP because emo, you know, sounds really hard. Emo, you know, but yeah, like when there's emo, you know, there's emo, you know, and emo, you know, be giving. Um, I mean, how would you, in terms of like versatility, how do you think like that has grown over time or, you know, is, do you think that has always been one of your strong suits as an artist? Being versatile. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I am versatile because if if I'm to look at some of the songs I've been on, like sometimes I've been on songs that I don't even know that I could do, <laughs> that I don't, and it came out easy. Really so, well, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like. I've been, which which was your which, yeah. which was your best collaboration? My you. best collaboration. I don't know. I feel like the one, the, the one with Sarah Savage is nice. The one with Kesh is nice. Mm. Yeah. True. And the one with Omale and Rasta. Everything is mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask the next question, man. Like, you know, if everything is mad, there's no, there's no, there's no need to ask him a question. Because I was about to ask him, and like, so which was the toughest collaboration you ever done? The toughest one. I don't know. The Maybe process-wise, not result-wise, obviously. Yeah, yeah. not result-wise, but the toughest one would be the ones with Rasta and Omale. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Was it a logistics thing, or what exactly was it? It's just like a mind mindset thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes it could be uh, what they call you guys. Is it uh, crazy block? Mm. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. Okay. Not like that. Not. Not that kind. Okay. It's like before doing it, I was like, I'm trying to make a song with Eva and Normale, and it's not something that I'm used to. Because of because of their vibe. Yeah. If yeah. I was to look at my own comfort zone, like I was. I would have preferred to just like send the song over or something. But, okay. But then we we had the studio vibe and it came out it came out nice. Did come out nice to be honest. Should I be honest about something? Go ahead. I love this, you know, Linsky man. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda just seems like I I knew this kid then. Yeah. And it's just different. What? what? Well, it's well, the it's the evolution okay. for ah, you. <laughs> thank you and this is change for me, right? Mm -hmm. Uh the thing is, you know, as much as we have different conversations, you know, I want to ask some of these outside the box because I also like friendship and love and liked, like they already said, and um, the perception might be a lot different out there, right? But are you very cool with Mobad now? Are you cool? No. Or you've always been cool? We've always been cool. I was too cool. My bad. Yeah, it was too cool. Regardless of anything else. Regardless of anything else. That's good. Imagine. That's good. And that's how it should be because it's love and light. At the end of the day, you know, um, what is going to be different this year with Zeno uh -huh. This year, I feel like <clears throat> this year everything is going to be different because I'm trying to go for everything this year, go for everyone. Ah. I'm trying to say so go Zinoviski for everything there. and everyone. Ah. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> um, You've been chilled, you know that, right? Yeah, You've yeah, been yeah, chilled, yeah. you know that, right? Yeah, I've been reserved. I've been uh -huh. reserved. So, this so you're year, coming out. Yeah, this year I'm just trying to do everything. I'm trying to come out. I'm trying to drop my own album. I'm trying to headline my own show. Okay. All this kind of stuff. And, and are we gonna Are we gonna see a spin to your look? I don't know. I'm I'm just very like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I just. Well, I like I, 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 I love this. I want just to just go longer first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I, I, I. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely will mess. But with I, I love this actually, look. guys. You want to see what Zinon Lixie looks, looks like today? We're dropping it on our page at Cool FM Lagos. And you can watch us live on www.coolfm.ng.